you say good morning? That was pretty close. Can you say hi? Hey guys, come here. So today is December 1st, and that means that it is the start of December donuts. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe go back and watch my last video and kind of explain it. But in a nutshell, I'm going to be getting a donut a day for the month of December. And I'm doing this for a couple reasons. First of all, I love donuts, so it's a good excuse to eat a donut every day. But mainly I just want to show that it's okay to treat yourself. It's okay to treat yourself every day. It's okay to eat these sort of foods. You know, they're not bad foods. They're actually very, very good foods. And they might not be the most nutrient dense, but it's still okay to eat them every day and whenever you want and just to enjoy it. And I see a lot of the how to stay on track and not gain weight videos during the holidays. And I get that, but I just want to show that it's also okay to indulge a little bit and just eat the food you want, make some memories, have fun, and just not stress about food. And not just for the month of December, not just for Christmas, but for life. That's just kind of what I want to preach and show, that it's okay to just live and not always be worried about what you eat, what you don't eat, how you look, how you exercise. It's just, it's not that serious. You know, I don't want to be on my deathbed thinking about all of the rice and asparagus I ate. You know, no one's going to live forever, no matter how healthy you eat. So I say enjoy it while you can, and that is what I plan to do. So I am not doing vlogmas, so I'm not going to be doing a video every day, but I will post the pictures on Instagram and Snapchat. So make sure you follow me there. And I know some of you had said that you're gonna do, you know, one donut or one a day or one a week. I think that's awesome. So make sure you, you know, snap me your pictures or tag me on Instagram, that sort of thing. I wanna see all of the yummy donuts that you guys find too. We don't have a lot of donut places around us. So I'm hoping I can find some fun ones. But that's the plan. And I'm gonna get the donuts sometime later today. I think we're gonna go to Peace Love Little Donuts. But Annabelle is done with her breakfast, so we're gonna go get on with the day. So while we're on the subject of donuts and treats and yummy things, I wanted to show you these new skins that I got. They are from a company called Design Skins, and it's not a case. It's literally a paper-thin skin that you put on your iPad or on your phone, which I think is adorable. And then they do have, I have one for their computer too, but I didn't do that yet. And they have like hard cases and these like wallet type cases and they reached out to me and wanted to send me a couple things and I love that they personalized it and like you can tell they know me. I mean cupcakes, pink, candy, they, they nailed it. But they have a bunch of other stuff. Um, I actually have some stuff upstairs that I want to show you like apparel and mugs and that sort of thing. But I'm just, I'm just sitting here realizing that I literally have like three jars of candy and a toy donut. Like who has a toy donut? Just <laughs> chilling. I think this is Annabelle's from like a year ago, but yeah, whatever. So definitely have a sweet tooth. Um, but I am gonna go show you the rest of the stuff that I have upstairs. All right, so in addition to the phone case and iPad cover, they sent all this fun stuff. First of all, this pillow that looks like a chocolate chip cookie, which is so adorable. I'm gonna put it on my office chair over there. They have like a ton, a ton of different pillows. And then a bunch of mugs. This one is my favorite. I think it's so, so pretty. And this one that looks like some cookies. They know my love for cookies. And they also sent this candy corn one, which I kind of missed the boat on posting about that one, but we'll save that for next Halloween. And then that was just from my phone case. They sent a really sweet little card, which I always love. And then these two, these are just like phone covers, not like a whole case, so just like put it around your phone. Donuts and donuts, which is so appropriate. I'm actually gonna put one of these on for the month of December for my December donuts challenge. I think, I don't know, I might do this one. They're both so cute, I can't pick. And then this, I actually sadly don't know if I'm ever gonna get to wear because it's a crop top, and I know crop tops are like the cool thing, but I just don't do crop tops, but it is 
super, super cute. I wish it had a donut on it though. I might see if maybe I can get one with a donut on it and then maybe I would have to wear it. They do have regular t-shirts too though, but it's really soft. And yeah, if I wore crop tops, I would definitely wear it. Maybe I'll like wear it to bed or something, <laughs> not out in public. And then these I need to put on my computer. Also adorable. And it also has, I'm gonna have Jim do this because I know I will F it up, but it's like a sticker for each individual key, which I think will look really cool, but I'm just, I'm too scared to do it. So Jim's gonna do that for me. And love this. Again, with the stay focused and the donuts. So it's like stay focused during the month of December, eat a donut every day. <laughs> Um, but this is just a soft case to put my computer in. And these are more covers for my phone. And this might be my favorite. This is actually a poster. And like how appropriate. And the funny thing is they didn't even know that I was doing the December donuts thing. It just, I don't know, I guess they just knew that I like donuts. So I'm going to put this right over on that wall. I think I've been saying I need more like decorations and like fun stuff in here because it's kind of boring, but this is definitely going on the wall. So huge, huge thank you to them for all of this amazing, amazing stuff. But definitely check out their site. They have so many mugs, so many t-shirts, pillows, artwork, phone cases, cover cases for everything, computers, iPads. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so this is just to show you that I do eat some vegetables from time to time, not only donuts and junk food, but these are spinach pancakes. I know it doesn't look delicious. The color is a little off-putting, but if you can get past that, they're actually really good. It's just a can of spinach that I puree with some egg and then stir in some coconut flour, a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and a little bit of baking powder. And then you just cook them up like regular pancakes. Put a little spray butter and syrup on there and definitely better than eating a salad if you ask me. So I'm gonna have that. And then I am back on drinking my greens. These are the my protein greens, and I can't open it right now, but they don't taste great. Um, I've been adding like two Splendid to it, and then it tastes not bad. I don't mind it. So good way to get in some more vitamins and minerals and healthiness. So I'm gonna get these cooked up, and then that's gonna be my super green breakfast. All right, so me and Annabelle just got back from swimming lessons, and I am like, freezing cold it's like 35 degrees out the water was warm but you just get like those chills and i feel like i can't get warm so i am making some coffee and i know i told you guys i'm still searching for an amazing creamer and a bunch of people suggested the peppermint mocha and i was kind of hesitant because i don't normally love peppermint stuff but it just seemed so festive and i just had to try it and it's the big one too so i was really nervous but it is sugar free um i'm not against sugar-free ones i'm just not limiting myself to the sugar-free ones anymore if that makes any sense so i did try it it's pretty good i will say it tastes the most like it's supposed to like i can really taste the flavor out of it out of the ones i've tried so far this one tastes the most like it should and i didn't have to use like 10 servings so it is good it's not my favorite the best one i've tried so far is still the salted caramel but I am still on the hunt. So this one's gonna take me a while to get through, but once I get through this one, I think I'm gonna try the cinnamon, cinnabon, cinnamon roll one, because that one sounds really good. All right, so I taught Annabelle a really bad trick, but it's really cute. Here, Annabelle, do you want some? Do you want some more? Go, ah! She may or may not have learned that from me. Is it good? Okay, all done. Can we put it away? All done, you got whipped cream on your face. <laughs> so once again, I am taking pictures of my food, but I really wanted to do a fun post as a way to thank this company for sending the phone case and all the other wonderful stuff. So I thought this would be appropriate, but I just made some regular oats and then I stirred in about half a scoop of my protein chocolate mint, which I have really been loving lately. I used to always say I don't like chocolate mint stuff, but I don't know, I think my tastes have changed and I really like it now. 
And then I added some Dark Chocolate Dreams peanut butter, which is really good. And of course, sprinkles and M&Ms everywhere. So I am gonna go snap a photo or two of this, and then I guess we will call this lunch. All right, so I just went and checked the mail, and Deandra, if you're watching, you have made my day. This was the best, this was the best. So she sent me a really sweet Christmas card, and she's one of the people that said she's gonna do some of December donuts with me, and she sent this necklace. It is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Donut worry, be happy, and it's even like pink with sprinkles. It's, it's the perfect donut. So thank you, thank you, Deandra. I am so excited for donuts today. So I just finished up at the gym, went to Anytime Fitness and just did cardio because <laughs> that's what I enjoy. And now I'm going to Peace Level Little Donuts. I think I'm gonna get a half dozen so I can have three and Jim can have three. You know, kind of start off the December donuts with a bang. And I'm hoping that they have like Christmas sprinkles or something extra festive, but we'll see. All right, so here is what we got. And I was really excited. They had Christmas sprinkles and little Santa guys. And this is like a snowball looking thing and caramel macchiato. And I don't know how I'm gonna pick, but I think I'm gonna have three and three for Jim and maybe two for Annabelle. What? Do you want a donut? Yeah? Yeah, yeah you do. Okay, do you wanna take a bite of this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got some sprinkles. That's all she got. That's all you need. And you want to hold it? Mm. Make a mess? Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was Sprinkle awesome. donut. What else could you want? Mm. Alright, so I have my donut necklace on and I'm ah! going to take you want your donut back? Here you go. <laughs> I am going to take one bite for you. No, I'm not going to sit here and eat all the donuts. I think that's weird to watch people eat. But I am going to go with this guy. Ooh. Maple sprinkle for the first bite. Are you going to have a first bite? Or are you just going to share Annabelle's? I'll share Annabelle's. Donut cheers. Donut cheers. Here you go. One bite, Annabelle. One bite. <laughs> They're really good. Also, let me know, are you a cake donut fan? Or a raised donut fan? I like both. Yeah. As long as there's frosting and sprinkles Depends on it. on top of them. You really can't go wrong. As long as it's not filled with jelly. That's a no-no. <laughs> but I'm gonna go shower so I can enjoy my donuts not being stinky. And we'll see you in a little bit. So some of you have requested that I show some of my favorite drink recipes and by drink, yes, I mean drink recipes. And this is one of my favorites for like the holidays. It's like a cranberry apple kind of deal. So I use the apple vodka. You don't have to use this brand, obviously. Um, but I do like this brand mainly because it's inexpensive. I don't really measure. Yeah, sure. I don't make my drinks very strong either, as you can see. But we do some of that and then buy this diet cranberry juice and do half of that. Clearly I'm no like mixologist. <laughs> Just kind of eyeball it. And then some diet 7-Up or Sprite or whatever kind of lemon lime pop or soda, if you will, <laughs> that you have. And then of course some ice. And there it is. But it's like a cranberry apple. It's really good. And I like the carbonation from the pop. But this is one of my favorites. I don't really have a fancy name for it. We'll call it a cran apple bliss. I don't know. All right. So now, rather than drinking my drink out of this nice fancy glass, I pour it into a shaker cup because we have a one-year-old that likes to pick up things and shake them and stick her hands in drinks. So I pretty much just always put whatever I'm drinking, whether it's a martini or a glass of water, in a shaker cup. And that way it won't get spilled and she won't stick her hand in it. So this doesn't make me a, a fitness person. I don't know what does, drinking my <laughs> martini out of a shaker cup. But anywho, Annabelle is actually upstairs getting a bath and we have now started the Elf on the Shelf tradition. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically this little elf 
and it hides a different place every morning and then the kid has to go find it and has like magical powers but you can't touch the elf or it loses its magic. Obviously Annabelle's only a year old, she's touched the elf so we're kind of letting that one slide this year but they have to name the elf and we decided to name it Marshmallow and rather than just having the elf sit there we put little mini marshmallows next to it so she gets like really excited and has a book that goes with it and it's super cute so while she's upstairs I'm gonna go hide the elf and we've been doing it at night mainly just so that Jim can do it too because in the mornings he's not here and it's just a fun family thing so we're kind of breaking the rules a little bit but I think it'll be okay so I think I'm gonna go, go hide it over by her little table we obviously can't hide it too much either because She's not that smart, <laughs> but she does get excited when she sees it and it's super cute. Sadie, get out of here. So we'll just set him up here. All right, so there's Marshmallow ready to go next to Annabelle's <laughs> crayons. As you can see, she has missed the paper quite a few times, but that's okay. And we got the little colored marshmallows too because they're just more fun. So as soon as she comes down, I'll be sure to get her reaction on camera. <laughs> It's a marshmallow. Say hi. What'd she bring? This. Yeah. Oh. You can give her a kiss. What'd she bring you? What? What'd she bring you? It's the first time you haven't like gobbled them up right away. Yeah. You want to eat them? Okay, you saying bye-bye, Marshmallow? Marshmallow's going to fly away. Goodbye, Marshmallow. Bye. Where'd she go? She'll be back tomorrow. Where'd she go? You want to come end the video with me, Annabelle? Okay. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So, this is going to be the end of the video. But thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Saying bye already. But yeah, we are definitely doing the donut challenge. So, today was day one. Jim, are you going to do the donut challenge? A few days with you. A few days. Annabelle, are you going to do the donut challenge? Maybe, but if any of you guys are gonna do it, I know a couple of you have messaged me that you're gonna do all 30 days or just like one day or one day a week. I think that's very, very cool. But definitely add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram. I'll be doing all the posts there, but I think it'll be fun. It'll be a very yummy, yummy month. So I'm excited for it. But once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.